RSK, RSK. Where are my RSK ass niggas at, man? Where they at, bro? Man, a nigga was all comfy and shit, man. Fuck it, the camera on. We not getting comfy no more, nigga. This shit, hit on my neck, ring on my finger. Oh, I think I'm here. Pass on the hangers. The game is strong, baby. Short cake like I'm little kid. This shit hard, bro. Dirtiest nigga, TJ Tom Six. Hold the fuck up. Let the man activate the murder death kill on all the way. Let the man. I don't care what nobody say. That shit, that shit is flames. That shit is flames. What's good, y'all? Your boy, Mister. Your boy, Mister Grind God. Your boy, Mister Throwback Thursday God. Your boy, Mister ASAP Rocky God. Get back up in this bitch, man, dude. ASAP Rocky, man. It feels it. Honestly, this is this is honestly a, a pretty pretty, in my opinion, a pretty good time to do ASAP Rocky because. With how this man has been moving, I guess we're getting an album this year. I don't know. The last piece of things that we did from ASAP Rocky on the channel was Long Live ASAP. I skip. I don't know why. Why did I skip Love Live ASAP? Why did I not listen to that? Live Love ASAP. Now, um, I've only heard one song off of this, and that's Sandman. But if you go on my last FM, I have only listened to Sandman once, so I don't know why Sandman was in my favorites. Maybe I mean maybe my ex sent it to me back then, but for some reason, I I have that song favorite for whatever. reason. The thing that I love about when I do these albums, I'm going into this shit not knowing anything. Like, I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the track listing. Maybe if a song comes on, I'll be like, wait, wait a minute, I know this song. This is the name of that song. This is who made that song. That'll probably happen. But looking at this track listing, other than me having Sandman hearted and me not even remembering what Sandman even sounds like, I, I I think this is gonna be an obvious new experience. So hit the subscribe button, like the video, my nigga. Like, dude, I looked at my analytics, bro. 56 or something percent niggas ain't subscribed. Like, bro, if you're watching my shit, bro, if you're watching my shit and you like, bro, imagine, imagine, imagine coming, right? Imagine coming. And I'm not talking about that kind of come, but imagine coming, bro, and you be like, you know what? This nigga entertaining, but he not entertaining enough. Let me leave. Nah, fuck that shit. You need to click subscribe, bro. Like the fuck? You know, here got goals and aspirations, and not only that shit, bro, it's free, bro. And if you're not gonna subscribe, at least like the fucking video. At least like it. This shit free. Shit. Uh, on me. Support, man. But to the niggas that are subscribed, y'all already know I love y'all. Track one. Track one. Palace. <laughs> God damn, how real is this? <laughs> it's, wait, okay, no, I'm not gonna do that. Wow, bro. Stone cold love, Rose gold slug. I could afford it, I import it. Stone cold drugs, nigga. Write it on my tombstone, I'm a stone, nigga. Ooh! Bro, the 2011 vibe in this one is crazy. Cold, 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 cold. <laughs> God damn it, I forgot it. Man, like this is some bullshit. I forgot I had shit in my queue, bro. I thought that shit was empty. I just started laughing because, dude. Like, this is 12 years ago, obviously. And the difference in sound compared to today's rap is like night and day, man. Getting hearing the vibes off of that, what made me laugh even more was when I heard <laughs> when I heard the hi-hat pattering, the, like the fast hi-hat pattering that reminded me of Knock You Down when Carrie Hilson and um, Kanye came together. And the hi-hat pattering on that track, it was ex extremely fast, just like how it was on Palace. And that just made me go like, dude, that was really like a go-to hi-hat pattern back then in the early 2010s, if I'm not mistaken. So to hear that on this track and be and just hear the different sounds, hear the different flows, like that's like a dat piv 2010 flow right there, man. And niggas don't even rap like that no more. Niggas don't even use beats like that no more. If we being real. 
review. Y'all niggas seen my last tweet and me talking about the, you know, the person that reviewed the Yachty joint and him, quote unquote, talking about, you know, oh, when's the next, quote unquote, thing of rap going to change, man. We already in that changed era of rap. Like that new sound that we got literally a few years ago was literally raised. That was the new sound of rap that we had gotten, bro. Things work in like years, man. Nine times out of 10 or 10 times out of 10, the rap sound changes within every five years. Notice how like 2016 to like 2018 or maybe even 2015 to 2018, that was like the SoundCloud era of rap where people were doing loud bass booming tracks. 2010 to like 2015 or 2014, that was like the mixtape, that piff era. We're, we are only three, two years and a half into this rage genre. And I'm pretty sure people have been adding more into the rap genre in this generation. But just know, like, you know, I haven't really heard a lot of emo stuff recently. Like, emo rap was really popular back when Lil Peep and Juice World were still alive, even X. Th just hearing this sound, it's nostalgic because this is a sound that's not really used anymore. Track, track two, peso. I'm trying to get them pesos. I'm trying to lick them shits. I'm rapping till my niggas with the bitch. Bro, the rhyme scheme is hilarious. Never disrespect season beans. Is the gets gets the fresh shit. Rap Simmons, Rick Owens, usually what I'm dressed in. Rolling doobies up. Oh, bro, bro. This is a record. This is a number. Cause I'm going to cock, going to shot, going to lick a boy. Yo, that's cool. Yo, that's cool. Yo, that's kind of hard. 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 She gon' really think I'm hot if I score my degrees, the temperature degrees, the college degrees. Yo, that's hard. Yo, the lyricism on that was fucking crazy. From talking about sexiness to. So recognize that shit. Huh? You better fucking recognize that fucking name right now. Recognize that shit ASAP. Someone getting bitched right now. I'm Mojo, spinning so people that have the kilo by her dojo. Blow it out your culo. Don't need bricks and put your bricks up on me toe toe. The beat on this one is insane. It's, it's right there, my nigga. God damn. Bro, I still can't get over the I can't I still can't get over the second verse in peso, bro. I can't that second verse in peso was flames. Hey Sam, nigga, I'm going for my well what lady friends counting bitch of me and it's me on the front go teeth. So look at me so street, sitting on that coat deep. He did, he did the all uh, for me, goddamn. Finally, like, bro, I thought I was the only nigga screaming out pretty niggas, man. Like, I'm a pretty sexy ass nigga and I'm a pretty nigga too. Bro, I, I, I still can't get over. Man, man, bat, 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 bounce, girl shit. Uh, everywhere, titty ass hands in the air. Fuck is this? Who's sucking the dick? Yo, this man's bars on this one is insane, man. Not insane, but like it's good. Like it's good. Boy, huh? Clipped up like I'm paranoid. High as hell, nigga Fitzroy. Pulled off through the skin. Two bad hoes. I teach you how to jerk. Teach you how to jerk. Swagging in my J's. Pop me a pill. That is brought a nigga back. So that bitch I'm still a bit now. Killing crap. Adding a dick in your mouth. Balls in my hands and your bitch in my house. Twisting up with really be funny. It was niggas Netflixing and chilling in 2011. Pussy nigga getting 
Oh, no, he's back and forth. It's going crazy. My nigga, schoolboy Q bought off the we a jerk. You a jerk, Barb, my nigga. Who? Okay, so niggas that are like around my age. I don't think anyone that's like in their uh, early 20s is going to know. But who remembers? Who remembers 2010, 2010, 2011? Them PR boys. Who remembered them PR boys, bro? The niggas that used to be going all around there like hood and shit and just jerking. <laughs> Yo, that sounds good. Right. Yo, who the fuck thought to make <laughs> Who the fuck thought to make a goddamn dance name jerkin? And them niggas wasn't even jerkin, dude. It was like just a it was pretty much an in-place moonwalk. You know what I'm saying? I remember back then, like I was like in seventh or eighth grade, man. Niggas always came to school ready to jerk. That should not be the name of a dance, dude. Like that shit is like this middle school and jerk shouldn't be in within the same realm. But like this thing is like bringing me back a little bit. You know, obviously, like back then, 2010, 2011, like I was decent on music. Not even decent, like, and I was trash on music like I, I was aware of Wiz Khalifa like I was more in the era of Wiz Khalifa when he was dropping Cabin Fever 2 um Taylor Alderdice like I, I remember when Dat Piff crashed when that shit came out um when Lil Wayne had dropped uh so I think Lil Wayne had dropped a mixtape around that time too and and that crashed the Dat Piff website when the Migos first started to erupt like in 2013 um what else man there's a lot of shit that was going on in 2010 2011 and shit one thing that i saw on twitter actually was like there's not much competition in rap and i understand that claim i understand it we remember when 2012 came around and kendrick dropped his control bar artists like big crit responded pretty much pretty much that that control sheet woke up the entire game and, and, and niggas was like, whoa, wait a minute, my brother. Like, like, we all hard in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You don't got this shit yet. You know, like the good kid, Matt. City days, walking down the high school uh, halls, listening to that, bro. Um, Listening to, like, Club Paradise, Free Spirit by Drake. Like, man, it, it just, this sound, to me, even though I've never listened to this album, it's extremely nostalgic because it just brings me back. It's honestly, like, I'm dead ass right now. Like, this is really putting me back in high school right now when I will always, you know, s slip the headphones underneath or slip the uh, slip the uh, iPhone, ear earpieces underneath the shirt, put one of them bitches in, bro, and then, like, listen to, like, some Rick Ross, uh, Rich Forever. Track six, Purple Swag. <laughs> Smoke. Wait. <clears throat> Smoke. Yes, sir. We must still lit. Real nigga. Real bitch. Purple swag. Purple swag. Big booty. Juicy booty. Yellow bone. I want a bone. I'm getting down. I took out dick in the mouth. This set, like, is this this is just crazy, man. Everything is purple. Yeah, put on, put on for the color purple, nigga. Oh wait, we talking about that lean? We talking about that lean? That purple in the cup, that that fucking sweet old syrup. Was it? Was it? What, what was this in the clothes back then? Was this in the clothes back then? Seen to sit this. I'm on that myth this. That six 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 shit six shit bitches. A fifty box and I'm full of bitches trying to hit licks. Don't get licks. Yo, his wordplay on this album is crazy. Got a lotion. I got her open. Got her floating on this purple lotion. Just take a hit. No time to flip it. Shoo, yeah, but do hibbity hoo, skippity doo. Is that a daft? Is that a is that a daft daft effects of Sam? Well, voices. <laughs> that Wild West type beat, bro. That daft effect sample, yes sir. Did she bleach her asshole? Like the bars are so fresh, like they're so clean, bro.
ASAP Rocky is 34. What the fuck? Oh, that that sample was hard. We off that purple stuff, cool. All right, that just sounded. That's <laughs> why did I say it like that? Oh my, got that jazzy shit up in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> Don't just say you ticklish after you just laughed in my ear, bro. You're making it feel like I'm the one that tickled you, bro. That, that beat is going crazy. A lot is going into my head right now. Obviously, the flows, the features, the vibe. Just listening to Space Ghost Pussy. I mean, Jesus Christ. You know, just me look, looking at Space Ghost Perp's name just made me re uh, remember Space Ghost Pussy when I had first heard it like six years ago. And I remember like that was like my first introduction. Like I had never even heard who Space Ghost Perp was. And honestly, I still do not know the whole entire origins of the Space Ghost Perp back then with everyone that was on the come up back then. I'm pretty sure like six years ago when I had first listened to Space Ghost Pussy for the first time, I'm pretty sure I asked like what happened. I I think I might have listened. To, I think I might have watched the video it, to see what happened. I, I think he might have disrespected ASAP Yams, but I could be incorrect. So if anybody could tell me, like, give me the backstory on like the Raider Clan, what went on with them and Space Goes Perp. Like, space, like, it just feel like Space Goes Perp isn't liked by anybody. Now back to what I was gonna say. The the it's just the rhyme scheme and the sound of this thing. It just sounds so original. It just sounds so fresh. The one thing that I dislike about this era of hip hop, I cannot stand sometimes when artists overuse ad libs. Yeah, yeah, uh, 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 uh. Like, there is honestly, let's keep it a stat. There are artists that have some classic ad libs that we can't help but repeat. But sometimes ad libs be getting repetitive as fuck. And I, I sound like an old head right now. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I sound like an old head right now. But that's just me being honest because honestly I do find it extremely annoying when after every single sentence or after every single bar there's gotta be a yeah yeah uh bitch like why can't it just be one cohesive straightforward verse why does there need to be these these extremely repetitive ad libs that have to be thrown in after every single verse that's why like i'm really linking with this thing because it's just nothing but bars nothing repetitive nothing just nothing sounds the same it's like i said that's that's why i am fucking with this because everything is just fitting together so nicely man there's, and it's like i said it's just crazy the difference in sound of this thing is compared to what's being released now it is not to throw shit or throw shade on what is being released right now like we're getting some pretty good music in this day and age but that's just the one thing that i find to be a negative for me when i do listen to rap nowadays it's just how many times are these niggas gonna keep on using an ad lib after every single goddamn verse to link it to to easily and i understand that is to like transition easily into another verse but i personally just feel like many artists don't need ad libs that's just how i personally feel so let me know how y'all feel about that in the comments man because i truthfully feel like many of these artists nowadays don't need ad, don't need ad libs track 10 houston old head yeah, yeah oh my god yeah Where 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 Paul Wall at? Oh my God! That bathing ape. This for sure the early 2010s. Larry Hoover. Hallelujah! They pulling them out. Oh. And I like the Rick Ross love that he's giving on this one too. Is Rick Ross from New York? Where is Rick Ross from? Is Rick Ross from Chicago? Man, this nigga Rick Ross from Mississippi. <laughs> like that beat is giving me like a Chrono Trigger type of vibe. Like it's giving me that 8-bit video game chill vibe. 
place Once it's getting kinda late Trying to make it home safe and not get great When you let just help your friends Flag a taxi man I just love how hard, hard hitting bro The hard hitting is That rates in the deep the open Hold your purse don't trust it Cause it's deep as golden it's like that drug trip. That's like it's like that drug trip type beat, bro. Like we're all, we're off we're off the drugs right now. Crazy. Okay, we're going crazy right now. This this nigga horny. Bust, bust, then you pull out bust again and then cream. Come on now, dude. What does that beat remind me of? Uh, a Wiz Khalifa feature on this bitch might have went hard. Might have went hard. Yo, that that is so. I, and I love the mini little the mini little concept of this album. I love it. This nigga, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga been off that purple drink for a whole ass 50 minutes. This shit's crazy. The king with a drink that one day that my team beat the making with this rap and now it's swag making money in Manhattan. It's trick with some dick. I'm disrespectful. You know what? Get, get it, get, get sick. Spit, clip, spit, quick, split, shit, hit, kids, women. Oh, that's your girl, mom. Huh? Well, I just hit it. It's a sick. Rest in peace, ASAP Yams, man. Jesus Christ, it's been that long. Oh, shit. What a, what a nice, this is a nice, beautiful song, bro. This is a nice, beautiful song, for real. Clean chorus. This album, off rip, man. It, it's like I said, just straight up get, gave me that Dat Piff vibe. And obviously this is a mixtape, so obviously it would give me that vibe. Um, I really, really like the sounds of this thing. I really like how during either the chorus, the intro of the tracks, you get him doing that deep, chopped and screwed voice. I remember back then I used to hear that, like niggas mocking that all the time, which was so dope. Like you always hear the aw, oh, yeah. Like you hear that everywhere back then i just like the like the you know like the mini little concept you know i was like reading up on this thing and just seeing you know the uh, them explaining how whenever he would do like the chopped and screwed sound is basically like him being on lean i think it's like a pretty dope concept i really like how clean this thing sounds i like how original this thing sounds the flows on this thing like the lyricism that this nigga put on this thing i love how like there was nothing really too high tempo everything was majority low or mid-tempoed where you just get these nice slow hard and just hardcore rap beats and then his style and vibe went along with it perfectly at this time uh asap rocky was just 23 
And I feel like for a 23-year-old releasing this kind of music, I think that's great. You know, he sounds like a 23-year-old youngin that's living life and that's having fun spitting bars on the mic with this fucking crew. Favorite track, I I, I really want to go with Peso because I have been thinking about that verse too for pretty much the whole entire video. Also, the, the track with Space Goes Perp was pretty good too. Really like the Space Goes Perp instrumental that he put on there. Yeah. Um, um, purple swag I also like that too I like the um, like him talking about obviously you know the purple weed the purple drink lean and all that other stuff like the album to me is just like a complete vibe and like I said it pretty much brought me back to the times where not everybody just did the same fucking you know type of style of rap where they have to fucking add an ad lib at the end of every single goddamn sentence and this shows that you can be smooth and you can flow nicely without having to do that bullshit after every single goddamn verse. Honestly, this gets the this gets the original stamp. This gets a classic stamp. Not really sure the rating that I would give it. I think I might, you know, give it like an eight and a half out of ten or to to a nine type of rating. So it gets that classic stamp. It gets that original stamp. Eight and a half to a nine stamp. That's a classic right there. That is that is a mixtape where that is something that people look up to. This is something that is inspirational for many. And I like how when I read up that it's not even a New York City, like obviously he's bringing that New York City voice, but he is bringing the southern hip-hop production on the back end which i feel like it's fire too which i read up on that he is attacking that southern hip-hop sound since he did grow up listening to a lot of southern hip-hop so i love what asap rocky brought on this thing i cannot believe 2012 man i mean 2011 that like dude 12 years ago it's crazy that 2011 was that long ago dude 2011 damn even thinking like dude 2012 was 11 years ago like time flies y'all time flies it's, i started making videos in 2017 and we're in 2023 already like what insane how time flies so i will close out the video saying this i hope whatever asap rocky releases i hope that it can put him at the top like he once was it's extremely sad when an artist goes on like an extremely extremely long hiatus without releasing anything it's been five years since we got anything new from asap rocky um this won't be the last time i do an asap rocky album i have never listened to at long last asap never listened to test never listened to testing so i will be releasing those in the future um like i said i hope that he comes back with something that people will uh take and enjoy because i have seen i haven't seen not many people talking about uh problems uh what's the, what's the shit the same problems i haven't seen many people talk about it like, i personally i mean it, it, it like it, it's 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 complicated to be honest with you because he hasn't had an extremely big single in a while which is kind of worrying to me that his next album might not sell that well because he has not had that big single in a while like yeah He's had DMB, but that didn't go crazy like his older singles. He had Babushka Boy, which went crazy, but he didn't capitalize on that. So I just pray and hope that commercial, commercially, whatever he has next, I hope he executes it because we all know ASAP Rocky is talented. I hope that that talent can be put on display and I hope many people will tune in for that, but I don't know because he hasn't had an extremely hit single in a while. So we will see we will see um nice listen throwback thursday hope y'all are still enjoying this patreon is coming soon i will announce that soon so yeah um this be your boy mr 2k god follow me on twitter follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok and i'm out this bitch